Hi Stampers, my name is Sandy Hancock and I just want to welcome you to Utterly Awesome Stamping. Today I'm going to be working with a set called Game On. And let me just show you the pieces that are in the set. This has four chess pieces, five chess pieces. It has some playing cards. We've got dice and club and a board, game board. And then a couple of really great sayings. So if you have people in your life who love to play chess, cards, games, possibly even go to Vegas if you live close to there, uh, this is a great set to use. I know I have an uncle who absolutely loves to play blackjack, so I am going to be making a card for him next year for his birthday using this set. Uh, now I'm going to be using, um, as you can see, early espresso and then Sahara sand is the the interim layer and then I'm using these designer papers called good in good taste I want to show you the papers because they're a little bit different in that normally in a package we get two each of six designs 12 sheets this can you see all these amazing we get two each of 12 designs 24 sheets and then let me flip it over give you a little idea look at that oh my gosh look how gorgeous these are so there's some knight of navy on the back side or maybe it's misty moonlight i haven't looked at the the labels but anyway you get the idea some beautiful papers and lots of them so that is going to really be fun to work with more and more okay so let's get started first thing i'm going to do is take my simply scored board i'm using a piece of cardstock that's four and a half by 11, I mean four and a quarter by 11. I'm gonna put it in my board, and first thing I'm gonna do is score it in half at five and a half, then I'm gonna score the half in half at two and three quarters. There we go. Now, I'm just gonna take the bone folder, I'll flip this around. Take the bone folder, make sure that it's right where you want it. Make a really nice crease, then you just take the top half flip it back okay we're ready to go so now the next thing we're going to do is add some white inside so that we have something to write on once the card is finished and if you notice I'll have to show you this in a minute I'm using the new adhesive so let me get this put inside okay so this is called stamp and seal <clears throat> There's one, this is a strong seal. I didn't really need the strong seal, but it just happened to be the one I could find. There, this is more for boxes and projects that need a little bit heavier, um, a little bit heavier hold. But anyway, today I'm using it for cards. All right, so now we're gonna use the um, layers. We're gonna add the layers. And this first layer, well, let me do this one first. Okay, this is the one that's going to go right on the front. So it's four inches long and two and a half inches wide. And then the designer paper is a quarter of an inch less than that. So it's three and three quarters by two and a quarter. So most of you know this, but just in case you don't, anytime you're layering, the general cut is one quarter inch less than the layer um, that you're cutting down from. So we go from four and a quarter to four to three and three quarters. Okay, now inside, however, this one is a little bit bigger. So instead of the four by two and a half, it's four by two and five eighths, one eighth inch more than the top. Okay, so let's put our designer papers together onto the cardstock. And a teacher taught me this dot dot not a lot which I try to remember to do and then just take your time when you're putting your cardstock on see if you can't get it centered this new adhesive really rolls on very smoothly so that's good okay so now we're coming to the inside part did I say that a teacher taught me the dot dot not a lot Sometimes I can't remember what I've said. Okay, so this goes on the inside. Front. 
there we go all right now we're ready for the label okay so let me show you once again what it looks like we're gonna layer three labels and this is the stitched nested dies there are three ways you could do this you could just take the chest pieces that image and just stamp it on white cardstock take your die and cut it out now the disadvantage of that is you're not exactly sure how much space to leave between each image so you can end up wasting a lot of cardstock um, when I say in between each image so that there's room for the die to go back and cut okay the second way you could do it is simply cut out some dies and labels and then just stamp on it that works better if you have photopolymer and this game on set is not photopolymer it's got the rubber it's clear mount so just because you see a label on the front doesn't mean it's exactly the um, placement when you go to put the image on the cardstock so you can do it that way and it may turn out perfectly or you may go oh I wish it were a little more up or a little more down or a little more to the left or right so I'll show you what I do when I'm doing more than one card I use the stamp apparatus this thing is so amazing so what I did I took I created a template by cutting out the, the smallest one that I was going to use out of a, any piece of cardstock other than white because it's a little bit thicker a little bit heavier so it'll hold your label in place so I cut that out then I cut the white label and I'm gonna stick it right here okay now the first time I stamped this, this is already lined up but what I did was this is what I did I just took a stamp not this one obviously laid it down like this then I picked press this down pick it up and so now you're you think you've got it where you want it but you're not sure I took this piece of acetate that came out of the stamp -a jig some of you remember what the stamp -a jig used to be we used that before we had this amazing stamp apparatus if you don't have the acrylic out of that you might just have a piece of acrylic um, overhead transparency paper or something and what you would do is just lay this down over your place ink it put it on here and go oh is that where I want it and then you could say yes no whatever if it's not where you want it just take a tissue wipe it off reposition your stamp move it up down left right whatever you want to do and then uh, ink it until it's where you want it to be okay so now that your placement is correct I am going to move that over just a tiny bit so that if I want to ink it a second time my cardstock's not going to move when I go to pick up the stamp because it's possible for that to happen okay so I'm stamping in early espresso to match the cardstock and I'm pretty happy with that if I did want to stamp it again watch I can just put it down right over it perfect it's not moving and then uh, when I would do this technique is let's say maybe you know four or five people that you think would love this card well as long as you have everything set up just go ahead and keep stamping so you would just put your next label in ink and stamp take that out put your next label in and we just call it making cards assembly line it makes it go so much faster okay so now we're inked and I totally forgot to get my little uh, silicone sheet so I'm gonna just be really careful not to get any ink on my yikes on my workspace that's the beauty of that silicone pad of course you just have to remember to get it before you start making your video okay so then let's put some on the back this is the Sahara sand we're putting this on to the early espresso okay so now this is just going to go on to here and I will say oh let's see I think I'm going to put it about this far so not quite a half now it's really nice to have this stronger seal so we're just going to put it into place and we're going to leave some space at the bottom for a greeting okay that looks pretty good however it's just a tiny bit boring so it needs some pop so what could we put on it for pop 
But what I'm going to put on it, I'm not sure how well you can see these. These are the 2020-2022 in color, um, what are they called? Enamel dots. So I'm going to use the um, cinnamon cider. And it's kind of nice to just take a pair of scissors. Make sure you get underneath so that you're picking up the glue dot that's underneath. You don't want to pick it up without the glue dot. And put these into place. I'm not going to press them down too firmly until I see that I like where they are. But I happen to like where they are. So there we go. Okay, so far so good. So now we just need the greeting. So once again, I'm going to take a Stamparatus. And the reason I want to use the Stamparatus is because I'm not sure this is going to ink well enough the first time. My cardstock is one half inch. I'm using the new Lovely Labels Pick-A-Punch. So we can pick from two designs. You have one half inch, three quarters of an inch, and one inch. Okay, so I'm going to put in the half inch. You need to punch the one in before you stamp. And turn it over so that you can see exactly where it's going and punch. Okay, so now I'm going to put that down. I'm going to take my greeting, put it on here where I want it. Hope that it's straight, but we'll know that soon enough. Okay, ink it with my espresso ink. And let's see what we get. I could use the acrylic on it again, but honestly, I've used this stamp before and I know it's straight. Okay, so now what we're going to do... Okay, so here we go. This is what we've got. It's too big. So I can't just stick this into the uh, punch. I need to cut it down some. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this edge of the S right onto a line. It doesn't matter which line. A line. And then I'm going to go one, two, three little lines. Wait, is that right? One, two, three little lines past it. Make a mark. I'm going to take scissors and cut very, very straight. Okay, then I can take this, stick it back into the punch. Make sure that it is straight, which it is not. I didn't cut it as straight as I would have liked. That makes it a little harder to line up. Okay, come out, come out. All right, okay, that turned out really, really well. Okay, so now we wanna do, normally I'm making my layer for the greetings just an eighth of an inch larger. Now, that means that instead of this being a half inch, it's gonna be five eighths of an inch, and there's no trough or, what do you call that, uh, to put the cardstock in. So now it's very important that you line it up on the back you can put anything in here up to an inch and it's going to punch it beautifully. Okay, so now we'll just put some adhesive on the back of this. Oops, get this going the right way. Okay, so now once again I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to put the tip of the white at a line and then I'm going to go one, two, not quite three. I've discovered, not quite three for the layer. I'm going to cut it as straight as I possibly can. Now if this were a little short greeting, I would have to take a post-it note, put it on the back so that I have something to stick in. But since this one, so that I can stick it in and pull it out. But since this one is long enough to deal with, I can just stick it in. There we go. Okay, good job. All right, so put some adhesive on it. I'm gonna add it to the card. Front. All righty, I am very happy with this card. We can put happy birthday on the inside. And the happy birthday, I will show you. Or it could be, and I did it at an angle on purpose. Uh, that is from this set called Peaceful Moments. 
this was part of a bundle with the poppies in the mini catalog. It's got a lot of great sayings. Here's the happy birthday with the deepest sympathy. Thank you. It just has a lot of really nice sayings in it. Okay, so that's our first card. And I will set that aside. Okay, the second card I'm going to show you now it uses another one of this same In Good Taste designer papers. But this one has, where that one was brown, this one's going to go with grays. We're going to use um, the basic gray, and we're going to use the, the lighter gray, which the name is just, of course, escaping my brain at this exact moment. It'll come to me in a minute. And then we're going to use the gray designer paper. And when I stamped this one, I used the Stitched So Sweetly dies to cut out um, this, uh, the cards. And I didn't, there's a Stitch So Sweetly layer that I'm going to show you in a minute that layers beautifully with this white size, but it doesn't work for this card because I, I didn't want to turn the card this way. If I had done it this way, then I could have used the second die. But because it didn't, it wasn't going to fit, I just simply used my cutter and cut out a layer to match this, just a little bit bigger. Okay, now I wanted to show you, okay, so this is what it looks like without any embellishment on it. And do you see that you could decide, ooh, I think I want it straight, or you can decide if you want it crooked, straight or crooked. But I kind of like my things at an angle. I just wanted to leave room at the bottom for the greeting, which I'm not doing that again because you just saw me use the punch and I would be doing exactly the same thing. However, I'm going to show you, okay, look how plain this is. This is really plain, and it's always fun to try to figure out what kind of pop you could add to a focal point to make it pop a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is add some of the metallic pearls. These are silver. They come in silver and they come in gold. So we're going to put, yes, some metallic pearls. Okay, now here's the thing. I'm only putting two sets of them. And normally we like to do things in odd numbers, right? We like to do things in threes. So a friend of mine suggested, hey, why don't you put a red heart? I went, okay, perfect. Now, ooh, here, I'll just use this acrylic thing. You really, really need your silicone pad. Don't leave home without it. Okay, so, because you're going to get your adhesive all over the place. Okay, so here's the third pop. So now I'll go back to the card again. Isn't that cute? I mean, boring versus one, two, three. Three little pops of color. And then inside, again, just put the dice. Put a happy birthday. Boom, you've got a really pretty card. Okay, the third one I'm going to show you. Again, I'm using the cards, and I was trying to figure out some kind of a background I could put on this. All right, so I bought this, um, I bought this bundle called the Best Plaid Builder, and I buy it, been trying to figure out how to use it, and I thought, hey, maybe it would work on this card. So it fits perfectly, the four and a quarter square, I mean inch way, but this way it's too big, so you just put it on, turn it over, and then just trim off the edges like that. And then I just went ahead and basically did uh, the same idea. This time I did use the Stitch So Sweetly die that layers with this first one because I needed the extra black and I wanted the pop of the, of the scallop. I added the uh, clubs. Then I added black rhinestones. If you don't have black rhinestones, we carried them about a year ago, I guess. Just take your stamp and write, no, take your stamp and blend that's black and color rhinestones. It works absolutely perfectly. And um, then I mounted it on dimensionals. Like I say, I usually like my things turned in an angle. Not always, but in this case I do. This time I used the other. Uh, punch. Remember how it's called pick a punch? It's because we have two designs to choose from. So this time I used the other one just to see what it looks like. And did I put anything inside? Yes. Okay, so I put the dice inside. Happy birthday. So there you go. We've got three designs out of the Game On set. Once again, here's the gray one and the Z card. Fun, fun, easy, big pop. So 
You can subscribe to my blog, I mean to my YouTube channel below by pushing subscribe. Be sure to visit my blog because it's got all the details for these cards on there. And thank you so much for joining me. I'll look forward to having you back next time.